Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I am continuing my series on updating my trade skill leveling guides, and today we will look at armoring. So let's just get into it. Armoring in New World is a very important trade skill to master. While you are leveling, it can be very helpful making the whole leveling process seem a lot easier, having the ability to craft gear with specific perks and stats to make your character feel more powerful. Then at level 60, and once you have mastered armoring, you can then make gear for your character that is gear score 600, including Void Ben, as well as many other available dungeon sets you can craft. Armor crafters also can make a ton of gold selling high gear score gear, gathering luck gear, and providing crafting services to other players in New World. Before we begin and look at the leveling process, I want to address an issue I have seen cropping up in the comments of my guides. People tend to look at the numbers associated with a certain level bracket, then consider how many items they have to craft, and then reverse math the item and make comments like, oh my god, I will need 37,000 rawhide, and so on. This is false. It is a media narrative being used to further discourage people from playing the game. Or maybe it's simply people who do not understand how crafting works. Exactly in New World, making assumptions using calculators instead of the actual game. I will explain. I will show you this clip from a previous video to help demonstrate my point. All done. Did you see what happened there? Let's do it again. I'll be right back. So I'm back again. I farmed 5,002 rawhide and 2,394 thick hide. Let's get this batch refined so I can make more space once again. All done. Again, did you pay attention? If not, let's have a closer look. The first time I ended up with 536 layered leather from my refining. The second time I ended up with 575 layered leather from my refining. Let's break that down and see how knowing what gear to wear and what tannin to use affected our profit. The total materials required to make the 536 layered leather from our first batch would be 17,152 rawhide, 3,216 thick hide, and 1,647 tannin. But we only invested 5,163 rawhide, 2,400 thick hide, and 802 tannin. So you see, we just earned 11,989 rawhide, 816 thick hide, and 845 tannin for doing nothing but clicking a button. For the second batch, to refine 575 layered leather, you would need 18,400 rawhide, 3,450 thick, and 1,725 tannin. But our initial investment here was only 5,002 rawhide, 2,394 thick hide, and 793 tannin. So again, here we just earned 13,398 rawhide, 1,056 thick hide, and 932 tannin instantly for nothing more than a mouse click. When you refine in New World, you get bonus items, and if done properly and with some investment, you will save yourself hundreds of hours of farming. Now that I've covered that, let's get into the leveling. When you refine a new world, you will always get bonus items. If you use the Tanner set, you will save yourself hundreds of hours of farming. And as an added bonus, with the aptitude system now in new world, you will also receive massive amounts of rare hides from these crates. These rare hides can be used to replace the infused leather when crafting gauntlets for the expensive 150 to 200 range of our training. This will save us an additional 25% plus on materials. And as yet another added bonus, the gauntlets you make and then destroy will give back infused leather allowing you to craft even more. So you see, the reality now when you look at the numbers versus what you really need in the game are hugely different. I offer you the numbers as a guide simply so you know how many items you will need to craft, but the reality will be much much less raw materials actually needed. From 0 to 50, 
At this stage, no materials are really needed. Your best option here is to travel around looking at the town boards. You will be looking for the armorer requisitions. These have been changed, granting much, much more experience than they used to. And you will hit 50 armoring in no time from doing only a couple at a fraction of the material cost you would need if you were starting to grind it out. However, if you don't want to do this for whatever reason, then to reach 50 armoring you will need 11,995 armoring experience. Your cheapest way to get this aside from town boards will be by making gloves either coarse leather gloves or cloth variant. I recommend, as always, using leather. The reason for this is how easy you can farm animals and skin them. No need to compete for nodes or travel around looking for them. You can simply walk outside the town and kill boars. So, you will need to craft 112 pairs of coarse leather gloves to reach 50 armoring. To make these, you will need 448 coarse leather, 448 linen cloth, and 112 iron ingots. From 50 to 100. At this stage, you should still be checking the town boards. You will receive massive amounts of armoring experience for these requisitions at very low material cost. So any you can find and do will save you tons of time and resources. But for crafting gains alone, you will need to make 345 pairs of rugged leather gloves, or of course their cloth counterpart. But for leather, you will need 1380 rugged leather, 1380 linen cloth, and 345 iron ingots to complete this stage. From 100 to 150. Now that you are getting into the higher tiers of this crafting profession, you would think, okay, things are about to get much more expensive. However, with armoring, this is exactly the opposite. The reason for this is because, as I demonstrated earlier, as you process your leather in the tanning process, there is a compound gain effect as you go further into the higher tiers, where you will see much, much more greater returns on your invested materials. You will also, in this stage, as in all stages, want to be checking the town boards. These start to get ridiculous in the amount of armoring experience they provide in this area, offering thousands of experience for almost no investment. Also, while tanning your material in this stage, you are going to start producing a lot of aptitude crates, which is great because they contain huge amounts of rare hides, which will make the next stage in this process all the easier. So to go from 100 to 150, you will have to craft 652 pairs of layered leather gloves. To do this, you will require 2,608 layered leather, 2,608 linen cloth, and 652 iron ingots. Now, because your materials in this stage are a little more expensive, it is important here that you are specking into focus to receive the 10% increased in salvage materials and do your gloves in batches. Then salvage, because the reality here is that you will likely only require somewhere in the ballpark of 1,800 layered leather. Because when you salvage, you are going to receive 10 to 20% of the materials back that you have invested to be used to create more gloves. From 150 to 200. So here we are in our final leg of this endeavor. 150 to 200 armoring. This is where armoring is unique. In that I have found in this stage, it is by far the easiest. The sheer ridiculous amount of rares you are able to produce skinning, and from the aptitude crates while tanning is crazy now. You will easily cut your required materials by almost 50% if not more, if you use skinning luck while farming, the tanning set while processing and refining, and open all of your tanning crates as you go. You will of course be able to replace the infused leather for a large portion of the needed crafts here with rare hides, but this will depend on your server's economy and be sure to always check this because it is critical. Always check the price on scar hide and smolder hide because you can farm the market a little at this stage. If those rare hides are very very cheap on your server, generally 5 coin per, and the infused leather is 9 to 12 coin per, then the smart move here would be to sell your infused leather, generating a ton of coin and then buy more rares. Or alternatively, if the infused leather is half or even less the price than the rares, then of course do the opposite, because in the recipes here, they are interchangeable. So for this stage you will need to craft 1113 pairs of infused leather gloves in order to hit 200 armoring which will require 4,452 infused leather, or rare hides, whichever you have one with, 4,452 linen cloth, and 1,113 iron ingots. Now you can make this even easier again if you're on a server that tends to run mutations regularly. With the introduction of the mutations, there's been a huge amount of both sticky vines and spectral dust being created by these runs. And in case you haven't searched it in a while, it no longer requires some run around to buy it. They've added it now to the market, so finding it is easy. Now, if you can acquire this stuff, either one really, at a decent price, you will make the 150 to 200 leg of your armoring training a breeze. In order to do this, you will need 5,260 of either sticky vines or spectral dust, or a mixture of them both. Then you will be making guardian spear marshal gloves, or the dryad gloves. This makes things so much easier. 
because crafting these gloves gives a huge amount of experience. To complete this, you will only need to make 526 pairs of gloves, which even though you will need to buy the vines or the dust, you will be making less than half the amount of gloves for the same experience. Now that you are 200 armoring, let's have a look at the things you need to work on next in order to become a true master of your craft and maximize your gold making potential. First the gear. There are two armor sets available, tier 4 and tier 5. The only difference between them is a cosmetic look. Both sets offer plus 10 to armor or crafted item quality. There's the armor or tier 4 set, the helm you will find in the siren's guide, the chest you will find in the siren's gun. The gloves come from elite chest in the mangled pox gate. The pants come from Nihilo Visage Elite Chests, and the boots come from Old Murkguard Forest Elite Chests, and the armor Tier 5 set. The helm comes from Leviathan of the Deep, the chest from Bartholomew and the Siren's Fist. The gloves come from Elite Chests in Malevolence, and the pants are from Selen Undat, Pride of the Trees, and the boots come from Elite Chests within Malevolence. To also make leveling and gold more efficient, at 200 there are a couple of refining sets you will want to have in your collection. The Tanner Tier 4 set, the set you can find dropping from creatures level 19 to 58, and the Tanner Tier 5 set. This will provide you with the 10% increased chance of bonus items while tanning leather. This does include runic leather. The helm is from Elite Chests and Malevolence. The chest is dropped by Beast level 59+. Plus. The gloves are from Elite Chests within Strangle Pitch Road, and the pants are from Elite Chests found in Old Murkguard Forest, and the boots are from Elite Chests found in Strangle Pitch Road. You will also want to consider having the Weaver set. This set will provide you with a 10% additional chance at bonus items while weaving. Also, you can have a Jewel Crafter craft you an amulet that provides plus 5 armoring using an Aura Calcum Armorer's Charm. There are, like with all crafting professions, 3 trophies available to you as an armorer. These are the Minor Armorer Trophy. This is crafted by any furniture maker with an easy to come by set of materials and will provide you with plus three to armoring minimum gear score. And as a bonus, will also provide the same for jewel crafting. The Basic Armorer Crafting Trophy. This time you will need to have in your inventory an artifact. It's called an Armorer's Journal. Once you have this, you can craft this trophy. It provides a plus four minimum gear score of armor crafted items. And also, like previous, it also as a bonus provides the same bonus to jewel crafting. And finally, the major armor's trophy. This item is a little more expensive and difficult to craft because not only will you have to sacrifice your basic armor trophy to make it, but you will also require the precision tools artifact. But once you have these items, you can craft this trophy. It provides a plus five to minimum gear score of armor crafted items. And of course, also jewel crafting items as well. There are also food items you will want to have on hand as an armorer. These are a great and cheap way to provide you with a solid boost while crafting armor. These are barley soup, nutty brew, honey brew, strong honey brew, and spicy cabbage soup. Here are some of my favorite places to farm the needed materials. So guys, I hope this video has been a help to someone out there struggling or feeling like leveling armoring is going to be just too much. It truly isn't as bad as some people will have you believe, especially if you take the steps to better prepare to begin, like getting a tanner set. I will, for everyone asking, be posting a jewel crafting guide just as soon as they patch it so that the experience values are correct. Until that time, I will advise anyone trying to level it to stop. You're wasting a lot of materials. They posted in the dev blog that it is broken and being addressed in the next patch. So please, just be patient and save your materials. Also, weaponsmithing is coming very soon as well, so I hope you are looking forward to that. Anyway guys, I won't waste any more of your time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.